one of our favorite times of the month is the Mega Loot Crate unboxing. With the DX and the Core, there's always a massive size difference. And sometimes weight, but you know, definitely huge. Yes, I've been I've been rooting for the DX. I've been liking the DX, so. And it looks like they're doing something. There's some impressions on the Core box like they had last month mm -hmm. with the uh, Harley Quinn hammer. So it looks like there's some kind of construction going on with this, or maybe that was the month before, but the DX has got some weight. Mm -hmm. Just a size comparison between the two boxes. Um, this is like for the DX. You can see it's like, oh, it's a big difference. I'm gonna say it's two and a half, but I've always yeah. got it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, big difference and a lot of weight in the DX this time. I won't say it's the absolute heaviest, but it's it's definitely exciting. Yep. So it's September. It's the Mega Loot Crate unboxing, and the theme is speed. Hey everybody, I'm Scott. And I'm Kendra. Welcome to another Guru Review. Okay, so we're going to start off with the original Loot Crate Core as always. Yep. And save the big boy for later. Just yep. going to work out with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited about getting to the DX, which we will get to shortly. Right. So, let's get into it. So many things. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to, when we do this mega to think about what's really coming up in the core when you've got the massive yeah. DX sitting, you know, two feet away from us. But yep. it's always good stuff. Okay. And oh, it's a Titan. Ooh. Oh, it's Bowser oh. Galactica. That's cool. Oh, I like this box. Oh yeah, it's like some kind of old car uh it's the green hornet isn't it is it it may be that's funny loot year <laughs> they definitely do stuff for their own marketing mm -hmm. all right so sure yeah but i think one of them's supposed to be oh maybe not let's see what we got oh 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 that's cool that's cool stark industries motor racing that's really cool. My concern now is, is that Loot Crate was switching their t-shirt vendors for a while, so their extra larges became huge. And uh, this looks a little... Uh, no, it's a good No, it'll be all right. Yeah, it's fine. So Marvel, Stark, very cool. Never, ever have enough t-shirts. Although, somebody may disagree with me on that. <laughs> but she's not present, so. <laughs> Oh, and cool. It's a Batman Metal Batwing keychain, stealth edition. And this is from QM, which I love, of course. Oh, that uh, is neat. Yeah, this is cool. Is metal? Yeah. Yeah, it's got some. That is cool. We got have the, um, the QM. Yeah, we've got the bat model. that came with, um, I think, Rebels and Rogues mm -hmm. 2.0. That we got, which is yeah, it's right there. It's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, yeah QM uh, Rebels and Rogue 2.0, I mm -hmm. believe, is what this came in. Uh, this was just an awesome, awesome piece. It sits on the desk. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it looks pretty accurate. So we don't want you yeah. to think that this came with it. Yeah, <laughs> it did not. Yeah, but it's a really, really mm -hmm. cool piece. Well, yeah. ooh, I'm kind of. I'm kind of on the fence. I'll do Galactica. Okay. So if you want to do this. No. Okay. All right, so Battlestar Galactica. Um, and this is another Titan product with their vinyls. Um, oh, that's cool. It's an exclusive Cylon Raider. Uh, so it's another ship. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty neat. I definitely want to get a picture of this outside the yeah. box because it's almost like the the cockpit area looks like the old classic mm -hmm. Cylon Centurion it is. It is cool. helmet from the original series because I know um, that on the newer one that they had when they had the new series that the Cylons looked a lot different and I was partial to the old school stuff but mm -hmm. yeah. it's still cool that's really neat I like that and this is um, a collectible auto ornament it's called a hoodie 
and it's the, I thought so, yeah, but it's the Arrow from the TV show, and you also could have gotten the Flash, so that's cool. So it's like a hoodie, like your Bentley or Rolls Royce or something of that nature. Yeah. We'll rush right out and put it on our car. Yeah. That's pretty cool though, you know? No, it is neat. I'm assuming it's got a magnet on it. Yeah. Versus like some kind of adhesive. I might put it on my car. Okay? Well, you can. <laughs> but if it's a magnet, make sure you take it with you all the time. You're going to have to remember to do that. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. So. I'm going to hide that on you so you can't see what it is. Okay. This I've been looking at. Uh, okay. Eleanor. Gone in 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. This was a really, really cool. It's from like. Cool car. Old people. Well, the, but the Gone in 60 seconds wasn't that old. That was within the last few years of Nicolas Cage. The car's uh, old. Yeah, that's why I didn't watch it. Nicolas Cage. You know, I mean, you know, he gets a bad rap sometimes. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of a crazy actor, but he's had some yeah. decent roles. They all seem to be, some people say it all seems to be like he's playing the same character. Mm -hmm. But yeah. he's had some stuff that I really did like. Um, you know, I like The Rock. Of course, it was probably because Sean Connery's in it and a couple yeah. of things. But, you know, I think he's a good actor. Nick, if you're watching this, I, I, I still, <laughs> bad props, still, okay. still love you, man. Uh, so we have the pin. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> like everything about this crate. Yeah. If you've been watching this for a while, you know sometimes she just takes over crates and I just kind of go yeah. back on cruise control. and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there'll be stuff where she's just killing it. Everything about this box has it's got just time. so, it's cars, 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 it's loot crate, it's all, you know, testosterone driven cars. Well, explain it, it's supposed to be like... Well, loot pins, this is a, a loot year, so it's, you know, a knockoff of a good year, and it's a loot year uh, the pin, so it's like a tire. It's like a yeah. tire burning out rubber, or burning rubber in a tire. I just so it was funny. it's cool. I mean, you know, you've got your, you've got modes of transportation. You know, yeah. you've got, um, and this looks like it's a continuation of building that. Yeah, it looks like this is like the, mm -hmm. the roof. So we'll have to build that for you. Yes, guys. we will. And um, we have come to the end. Here's our magazine. <laughs> Okay, you know what that says? Eat my dust. Yes, okay, so speed says eat my dust for the plate on the inside. This is cool. I like this crate. Mm -hmm. um, interesting exclusives, but cool. It was definitely a guy or a gal's crate. Just depends on how much you're into cars yeah. and mode of transportation. I mean, you know, you got a spaceship, you got Eleanor, you got a tire, you got the bat, you got a hoodie to go on it. You know, everything was about going fast, racing, mm -hmm. speed. I mean, it definitely lived up to its name. We should build the car. Yes, we should. All right, so we're gonna build this bad boy. Good job. Yep, and it looks like you could have gotten uh, red, blue, or green. That's cool. Something that Loot Crate does uh, is you get digital content included with your pin. Um, this month it is uh, collects pilot season velocity number one and velocity number one to four. This actually looks cool. I'll probably check it out. She's got like a... Uh, drag racer. Drag racer. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drag racer uh, outfit on. And... Um, <laughs> something cool is they have um, an interview with artist Nicola Scott and Liam Sharp. Um, I know Nicola Scott did a couple uh, One Roman covers. So that's cool. Um, kicking myself right now. Um, they have a picture of the Lou Crate Fangirls. Lou for Fangirls Crate. Uh, I kept saying, no, no, it's okay. I'm just gonna get like shirts and stuff, but. <laughs> um, I know I should have just subscribed for it and moved on. I was 
that close to doing it and I, I didn't do it. Looks like you get an exclusive Women of Marvel skater dress. I think they have a, uh, a subscription add-on too where you can get the loot for fangirls and get uh, the t-shirt thing. Loot Crate just keeps finding ways to take money from you every month. Yeah, so I'll have to see if I can find it. I, I didn't think it was going to be like items. And then they reviewed the San yeah. Diego Comic Con. Yes, yep. And they do have some pictures here uh, of their booth at San Diego Comic Con. Which we do have a San Diego Comic Con loot crate. We did the two pack actually because there was another uh, bonus pack for gear. Uh, link below for that. That is up there right now on our mm -hmm. channel. Yep. Oh, the mega with another gigantic TV. Oh, this makes me sad. <laughs> oh, the curved HD 4K Ultra 55 inch. Uh, PlayStation 4, 500 gigabyte, the black. Oh, man. Galactica, Battlestar Galactica, the complete series in Blu-ray. Um, you know, I watched it a little bit. I mean, I I only got like an episode and a half into it, and um, I guess I didn't give enough time. But maybe you just need to kind of reset, because I of course was thinking of how it was when I was a kid. Yeah. And, you know, but the Mega someday, the true true Mega crate from them. Um, someday we will hopefully win, and then some looters. Of course, in the back. So, definitely speed yeah. was a theme, and it's going to continue as we get into the DX. Final thoughts on this. I know I think everything's cool, but I do think it's a little biased towards, you know. But, of course, we kind of knew it with a the theme going into it. Yeah, so, no, you know, no, I think. Just because you're not a hot rod kind of yeah. gal, we're, we're still good. No, I am. Yeah, I think I'm just waiting for DX. I think I'm excited to see what's in there. So Watch it be a bigger version of all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I get smacked. And now the one we've really been waiting for. Yes. <laughs> DX has really spoiled us. They are mm. just killer crates. I will say there have been a couple items in them that have been kind of eh. But for the most part, yeah, you know, the boxes really are great. A couple yeah. of like, goofy little things. But like that horn that one time. But... They get great stuff yeah, in here. Yeah, they do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. Dude, I don't know. Anticipation is killing me. Ready, right dear? Yep. Okay. And of course, they're going to have the wrapper like they always do, so yeah. it's a big tease for you, oh, too. Oh, what? No what? wrapper. No wrapper? No what? Wrapper. <gasps> close it. Close it. You can't see. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, DeLorean, really cool. Don't peek, but that is cool for the DeLorean. Whoa, wait, falling all over the place. So that's interesting because every month that they've come out, yeah. they oh, have had cool. their classic DX wrapping paper, which I thought was great because it added a little bit of a surprise to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm kind of curious as why they stopped doing it, yeah. but um, oh, wow. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Oof. Oh, oh wow. that's nice. Welly, a 124 scale die cast DeLorean. Oh, this is so, so cool. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah. I saw one when I was a much younger man. And of course the guy wanted like $8 million. It was like 20 grand, but this is 25 years ago and it was just crazy. Yeah. But there's a company out there that actually is like the the all-time replica maker of these and they're just crazy crazy mm -hmm. stuff but yeah. this is really really cool I'm good now now I'm really hoping for something in here for her because I've, <laughs> I've, I've got my speeding out so um, another could have swore I switched it up okay. but there looks like there's something yeah. mm, no. you, you're just looking all kinds of thrilled babe <laughs> you look like I did when we will have the unmentionable happen yeah um, this actually may fit you yeah. A little big. A little big. But it's like a dress. Kind of baseball shirt. Yeah. I mean, when, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I it's uh it's kind of cool. I mean, a paper airplane. I mean, good for around the house or something. Yeah. I've never been a big baseball t-shirt wearing kind of guy, but um, mm. I mean that's cool. Hmm. I'm interested mm. to see what this what the deal um, with this shirt is. Okay. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. 
book? Is this a... It's an art book. Art. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh cool. cool. Yeah. Okay, Salvation at least. Yeah. Because it's an art book with some behind the scenes stuff. A lot of graphic, yeah, you so know, like graphic the, like, novel. Concept art. Which yeah. is a... You're a huge fan of stuff like that, yeah, so I'm happy because yeah. you know I was I was sensing you you weren't quite digging this crate, which sometimes happens. Yeah, but, this is uh, an exclusive too, so it's cool. So that's neat. So we got the book. Yep. And there's a gigantor. Yep, yeah, one of the giant pins. Um, it's the red version of the box we got, pretty much. Right. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. It's the hot rod. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Um. Yep, looks like this is a messenger bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Transformers bag. And is it a messenger bag or does it do something? I mean, yeah, is it like really, it. you know, because with Transformers, who knows? Yeah. I mean, it could be something crazy. I'm hoping it is. Because we get a lot of bags from them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we use them, sometimes we don't. It looks like it may have something different going on, or maybe it's just me. Just no, me. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of... It is. It's kind of. It's kind of like a messenger bag. Like it transforms. I mean, yeah. literally. Pardon the pun. Uh, Ooh, oh, cool. now that's cool. Yeah. The inside is nice. It is nice. I wonder if it. This is like a uh, sketchbook bag. It's nice. So we'll get some close-ups of the inside of the bag because there's some some artwork in there this strap is really really interesting though i'm trying to understand it well here's the way we'll check since we are into it already okay uh the transformers messenger bag uh, magnetic clasps a dual adjustable buckles compartments for your laptop and accessories and a specially designed interior make you feel like a prime licensed by hasbro you won't find this loot crate labs original anywhere else so um so there's an exclusive in you know the the pattern inside exclusive i'm still wondering about that maybe is it to do like a one shoulder awesome. something okay so we were you were asking the Super 7 Paper Airplane just basically talks about the origination of flight, yeah. basically. You know, so, I mean, they, you know, absolutely do crazy stuff yeah, in this here. Is cool. I like this. You know, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, I feel like maybe you're not as crazy about this one, which I get, yeah, you know. Okay. I mean, it's... Uh, Sometimes it hits a strong chord with both of us, and sometimes yeah. more than the other. I think that's great. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, that'd be nice though for mm -hmm. for your uh, your surface or stuff. Yeah. You can keep stuff in yeah. here. This is really cool. I do I like it. And I'm s trying to figure out where they're talking about magnetic clasps. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it, it's cool. I mean, the art book's great. You know, I like the art book. That's cool. I'm betting we're going to get some mixed reviews from our subscribers on this. Sometimes we do where there's stuff where, you know, mm -hmm. we may like something a little bit more. But Diecast Car for me. Love that art book. I'm still really happy. Final thoughts on this for me. Thumbs up. You know, not a big uh, baseball t-shirt guy, but to me that's the only downside. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe something else a little bit more suited for... My partner in crime over here. I think, but. I don't know, because I, I was like decked out in my Star Wars gear today. I was like, okay, it's going to be like spaceships and stuff, which I guess we did get the Cylon. But. Yeah, and I mean, I went with uh, Star Trek. Yeah. I mean, we were kind of thinking space and, and, and uh, but that was like the look I had on my face yeah. when I was disappointed <laughs> a few months ago with something else. Yeah. And what's the theme for next one? Next month's theme is... Horror. Which would make sense. Mm -hmm. For October. October. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's putting out a subscription crate next month that is not doing horror is probably a little strange. Yeah. But um, cool. Yeah, I think it was what, uh, Friday the 3rd. No, Nightmare on Elm Street. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be one of our favorite months of the year. Yes. Is October. Yeah. And horror. So very, very cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
Final Thoughts was good. Lived up to its name. It's a lot of speed. I think we were both forgetting what we were looking for and we're maybe thinking space involved, yeah. but I can't complain. DeLorean's great. Yeah, no, DeLorean's you know, cool. And the art book is fantastic. Yeah. But so on that note, we want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. Till next time, stay weird. Bye.